Hi everyone, this is Sebio9001. Um, I just wanted to quickly know, or oh, let you all know why I didn't stream today. Um, well, first of all, as you know, I just did an 11 and a half hour stream. So not only did that uh, ruin my sleep schedule, <laughs> um, it buggered me a bit before work, which I've got in an hour. Um, but besides the point, there are a few other reasons as well. So one is a growing concern that's uh, been building up over my streaming, which is um, a few people have come in and out of my streams, had a good time and gotten to such highs and that's great. But there have been some people that have gotten to immense lows. And this is this is more of a message to the people who've been going through those massive lows. Um, in my streams, some people, someone might come into my stream, and they they'll be there. I'll see them type. They'll be happy, and then I'll I'll notice their mood change as the stream goes on. And a lot of people get at me for like being too into someone's specific story, but when someone messages saying, "Right, um, have a great stream." I'm not going to come back I'm because I'm going to end it all. That immediately triggers me. Not not in like a, oh my god, I'm triggered. Oh my god. In a more of a, I really care about your situation situation right here, right now. Um, now, some people have got at me saying, Seb, he, he's probably just um, attention seeking. Ignore it. If any of you are familiar with the story, The Boy Who Cried Wolf, when someone, um, when enough people make the same kind of like um, fake story, so there's a wolf, help, there's a wolf, and then everyone comes by concerned, where is it, where is it, how can we help? And it's like, ah, I was joking, and they go, oh, he's joking, and then they, the same guy goes again, there's a wolf, there's a wolf, help, they come back. We're concerned. He's joking again. I got this attention. I feel great. And then they go, and then he says it again. Guys, there's a wolf. There's a wolf. And they go, no, no, that there, there isn't. We we we're not going to come and be concerned because you keep lying to us. There's no wolf there, and this time there actually is. Using that story as a guideline, it's my feeling to never turn your back on anyone. Even if, even if they are attention-seeking. As long as I can guarantee that they're okay. And I think everyone should. That's the right way to be. Treat everyone with care. If, if someone comes into your stream. If, if any streamers, other streamers are watching this. If anyone comes in, you can sense a low from them. And, they, and they, if they say something like that, don't just... Don't, don't shrug it off as attention seeking, which a lot of them are in fairness. But if there is that old one that's completely serious and dead set, halt, try your best to immediately, then and there, say these points. First of all, stop what you're doing, stop what you're thinking, right? You, this is a message now to everyone who, who is feeling low, feeling negative, feeling like they've got nothing to live for. I said this on my stream the other day. The best way to think positive about your life, if you feel like everything has gone down, a very, very easy saying, once you've hit rock bottom, there is literally only way to go. One way to go, and that's up. So, if you feel like you've got nothing to live for, nothing's, nothing's going well, everything is absolutely bad, this is what you've got to remember. Positivity and achievement, those are two factors that can change anyone's life. Being positive immediately fills you with endorphins. You're feeling great. You're feeling happy. You're feeling fantastic. Okay? An achievement. That's the achieving something, completing something, gives you a sense of self-satisfaction, all right? Best way to feel positive, in my opinion, is to achieve good deeds. So, to you right now, who's feeling negative, feeling like they've got nothing to live for, get a piece of paper and write down a list of 20 or 30 bullet points. So one, two, three, all the way down to 30. And the next day, as soon as you wake up, make your bed. 
Get out of bed. Make your bed. You've made your bed, right? Write that down. That's number one. Number two, brush your teeth. Go straight into your go straight into your bathroom. Wherever it is you hold your bathroom utensils, brush your teeth. Perfect. Write that down as number two. Wash your face or have a shower. That's either number three or both number four. Three and four. Number five, go make some breakfast. You may not be a breakfast person. Go make some breakfast. Eating food, make sure it's nutritious. Gives you a great sense of satisfaction. You've eaten, you've got energy inside you. That's five points there. Take a, take a minute, take a minute. Look at your sheet of paper. You've got five achievements done already. That can be done within half an hour. Right? Number six. Do some exercise. Doesn't even have to be much. Do ten star jumps. Add it to the list. Someone will go, you've only done ten star jumps, man. It's not exactly a lot. It's ten star jumps more than you would have done not doing it. That's an achievement. You've done ten star, ten star jumps. Great. Your body is 10 star jumps better than it was before. You have achieved something. Keep filling your day. It may be minor, but as many achievements as you can cram into one day and then take a, take a seat at the end of your day, look at your sheet of paper. And if you feel like, yeah, I've done all this. Yeah, I've, I've actually, I've done all these points. I feel like I could have done more. Get another sheet of paper the next day. Instead of instead of uh, 20 to 30, make it 30 to 40. Keep getting a new sheet of paper. Keep adding points, bullet points. You've got more things you can do every day. Tick. Tick everything you've done. Get as big a list of achievements as possible. If you want to if you want to get a new job, right? Write a CV. Send it out to as many places as you can. What's the worst that can happen? You're embarrassed that you got rejected. If you want to achieve something, you need to go out and you need to take it, right? You need to do it, be proactive. If you need a job, if you need a job because you're low on money, you have a situation. There is support, there is plenty of support out there. If you need any advice, I'm here. Comment in the comment section of this video that I'm gonna put out. Any advice, I'll 1v1 you. Verbally, you know what I mean, not gaming. I know I'm a gamer, but just know that in this community that I'm growing, I try and avoid any toxicity and bringing toxic people into our community. We're here to grow a friendly community that supports each other. Everyone in my Discord, all friendly. If they're not, people are there to sort that out. All of us together. If you're watching this video, grow as a community, guys. Support each other. If anyone is feeling low, jump on it. Get your sheet of paper. Fill it with as many achievements as you can in one day. And if when you start feeling better, when you start feeling like you've got something to live for, you're achieving, you're achieving, you're proactive, you're doing great. As soon as you start feeling in a good mindset, just know that there's someone else who's exactly where you were before you started feeling this way. So if you can afford to, help them as well. That's all I wanted to say. Sorry I didn't stream today, but um, I needed to get this message out as well because it's been, it's been a growing issue that I've seen. And it's heartbreaking to, to imagine if there were that many people feeling that way, if they are attention seeking then that is unfortunate that you would use someone else's situation like that to your benefit to try and get attention from someone. But if you are feeling that way, just know that there's plenty of people out there to support you. And I do wish you the best in all your years to come, of which there will be many. So best of luck to you all. And... Um, I do wish everyone in my streams, in my community, and outside of my community, all the luck and happiness that someone can bestow upon anyone. So, as always, peace.